Hi, Nikki here with more A-liner makeover and repairs. So I've gotten the bed and mattress in place. I finished up installing a do-it-yourself mini blind in the back bubble window, complete with a track that uh, I basically made out of the packing material that they sent with the blind. So the next project for today is to fill this empty space with my dinette benches and table. So hopefully uh, when I make the cuts they'll and I've, I've hopefully the measurements that I've sketched out are correct and work. So time to get cut to cutting those pieces of wood out. And here is my workshop. It's actually the front of my garage. Um, I'm actually doing everything on this A-liner with nothing but battery operated tools and a couple of saw horses as you can see here. So I have two uh, of the premium floor grade sheets of plywood that I will be cutting all the pieces for my dinette out in and a lot of the first cuts are big pieces so I just made a fence out of this uh, little piece of wood here that God I hope is straight as hell so I will get to cutting all these pieces out and then we'll kind of roughly put them together inside the A-liner and see if they fit so all my pieces are cut out that's the scrap this is what I have left, so now I'm going to roughly put them together and see if it all fits. Okay, so I roughly put the pieces together and um, I had a fail. So one of the pieces that I measured, I took into account that there would be three quarter inches on both sides. So where this gap is here, it's actually a three quarter inch gap because I forgot that I wasn't using a back piece so I'm gonna have to figure out something for that but you know fail is a fail as long as you uh, are able to fix it or learn from it it's not a bad thing so here are the two bench seats that are going to be part of the dinette and this is after I miscalculated and cut a piece of wood too short but in the end it actually worked out okay so the tops of the uh, the bench seats are, they're going to be hinged here because there's actually two cuts, which is why the uh, top is not sitting on there completely. And then I have a handhold so that I can just reach under the cushion and pull it up. Now inside are also going to be two piston lifts that hold it in place, so I'm not trying to juggle getting what I need as well as holding the lid up. So both of these pieces have the handholds. They will both have piston lifts in them. And with this one, I especially had to pay attention to holes and things. I have a hole here because coming through that hole and mounted right there on the side of the uh, stove cabinet is going to be my control charger for the solar panel. And then there's a hole here that the uh, solar panel cable will come out of and hang on the wall until I need it because then I'm going to drill a hole in the floor that will have a desk grommet that opens and closes so that I can feed that solar wire through it and attach it to the panels. The panel I'm not going to have fixed on the roof. I'm just going to have a slightly longer cable and we'll probably make a little mounting stand for it so that I can place it wherever the sun happens to be and I don't have to be dependent on it being fixed on my roof and my trailer having to be in a certain position. So I'm going to take the lid off and kind of show you the insides also. So here's the inside of my uh, bench seat. It's going to have very generous storage in there. So the cable that I was telling you about, um, the black and red, that's going to be my solar cable. So I also had to make cuts into these side panels so that it could accommodate the wiring. So did that there too. So what I'm going to do is probably attach the pieces through the floor with uh, pocket hole joints. And then in the corners, all four of them have a piece of wood that each of the pieces screws into. So hopefully that will work out also. So this side, this storage, uh, since it's internal, will be for, you know, kitchen stuff, whatever. And then this one, because it has the outside access panel, is going to be where I keep all my operating equipment, whether it's hoses or tools or 
anything else I might need to access from the outside during setup, the chocks, the stabilizer plates, whatever. So the next part is to actually make the pocket hole joints, make sure everything fits together. I'm actually going to paint all the pieces um, just because I like that aesthetically, especially inside with the dark wood floor. Painting the insides white will also um, make it easier to find things and just make it feel roomier also. When those get done, this space will be filled with the uh, table that will be able to drop down into another sleeping area. So that's what's on the project list for today. Um, I've been working on this all weekend. It took me all day yesterday just to make the cuts uh, for all these pieces. So I will uh, update you once I get it all pretty and in place and working and uh, hopefully this helps somebody.